Tonight, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at a formerly dead beer. They brought it back from the dead from Goose Island. This is the Night Stalker, a so-called hoppy imperial stout coming 11.5%. This is basically the Bourbon County Stout uh, base hop to high hell, not thrown into a barrel. So let me get this into a glass so you guys know what it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Goose Island Night Stalker. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Night Stalker. Yeah, I mean, you get those immediate Imperial Star characters, uh, chocolate, dark fruits, coffee. But there's definitely, a, it's, not as, it's not as intense as I remember. There's definitely a hot presence, maybe a little bit of orange, uh, definitely a citrus, piney character, a little bit of dryness. Blending with that sweetness from that BCBS um, base really, really nicely. It smells a lot like a black IPA, really, really nice stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the Goose Island Night Stalker. Cheers. Wow. Yeah, wow. Right at the front of the tongue, you get a huge slap of like slight kind of piney bitterness blended with this big kind of dark chocolate coffee bitterness, which is really, really cool. Middle of the mouth, huge body on this one, dark fruits, huge like sweet, malty, syrupy, sugary uh, kind of goodness going on. A little bit of pine needle, a little bit of like a grapefruit, maybe a little bit of like a tropical fruit in there. Aftertaste is really, really sweet with a nice kind of uh, alcohol burn to it to kind of help kind of mellow out some of those sweet flavors. Really, really hoppy, really big coffee forward chocolate stout. It's BCS, it's a ton of hops. It's awesome, awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Goose Island Night Stalker, 11.5% alcohol available now. Get it if you can, guys. Going to give this one an A. You know, a lot of people ask, is it as good as BCBS? It's a completely different beer. It's the base beer. It's got all the qualities you want in that beer. Big chocolate, big coffee, huge mouthfeel. But they add this, like, epic hoppiness to it. Big grapefruit, pininess, but just enough to kind of keep it all balanced out. Sweetness, bitterness, it's all there. It's everything all in one. You know, is it as great as BCBS? Nah, not really, but it's just a great beer on its own. Definitely, definitely check it out if you guys can get it. They haven't brewed it in two years. Who knows when they're going to brew it again? So getting an A for me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.